Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Your favorite political analyst is in the studio today, and he's coming to us with a lot of trending news. So trust me, you don't want to miss this one. Ez how you Hello, doing? Hello, ladies. Happy Hi. Thursday. You were going to go with the Abba because I had her. No, 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 no. Happy, happy Thursday. I think I said this the other day. I was like, since I moved back to Nigeria, and let me not lie, my English is just dilapidating. I find myself with H factor. I find myself miss. Ah, uh, but that's let what me not even start. That's part of what makes you Nigerian. I'm A lot of us you. look at the Ghanaian accents and the Kenya Kenyan accents, and we say that we love it. So why can't we love other people's accents? Me, I don't, then, so. Yeah. Me, I think the Nigerian accent is one of the nicest in Africa. Actually, we run... The one that I don't like is the South African one, let me not lie. Eh. Well, I think that, I mean, you cannot take away phonological interference. Mm. And that's what makes us unique and special. Our mm -hmm. H factor is part so of So if this. you want to say rice and you say lies, lies. there is no problem. <laughs> There's not a problem inside the matter. There's not a problem inside I the matter. I think the one thing, though, that's so common is we are all so hard-spoken. As in the average Nigerian, like... You know, even, you know, if you watch a conference, you'll see our senators, everybody shouting into the mic. You know, I think it, that is the most common thing when it comes to the way that Nigerians But I hope talk. it's not what happened yesterday. Ah! Okay. Hey. Do you know that That the, yesterday uh, matter is very hot. The people. national leader of the All Progressives Congress, Chief or Alaji Ashiwaju the Jagaban, Bola Metinubu, mm. he quoted the scriptures yesterday now. Yes, now. The book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 14, where you sweep away iniquity, wickedness, justice with the broom. Mm. I'm sorry, injustice with the broom. And interestingly, his wife is now an assistant pastor with the Christian Church of God. Yes. So she's carrying a special anointing, and we are happy that she has transferred it to daddy. Speaking of addressing, let's go straight to Saraki addressing World Press Conference and vowing to continue fighting against injustice and impunity. The Senate President Bukola Saraki on Wednesday addressed the World Press Conference where he stated that despite risk to personal safety, he will continue to fight injustice and impunity in the country. He said the barricading of the National Assembly by DSS operatives yesterday was one of the many instances of undemocratic practices perpetrated by the federal government. In his words, despite risks to personal safety, we shall continue to fight injustice and impunity to defend our hard-earned democracy. Well, I think that we cannot overemphasize mm. that as Nigerians and as a people that after, you know, protracted years of military rule, we fought back and won democracy. That action that played out on Tuesday is despicable and condemnable. And people should not use the apparatus or apparat cheek of state to oppress the people. Now, interestingly, the National Assembly is, you know, the epitome of democracy because those that are, you know, um, the members are directly rep um, elected by the people of Nigeria. So when you obstruct their, you know, their action, or you try as much as you can to you solve their responsibility, it's a major problem. So the way Amana Nigerians reacted on that day is a plus. And we would want to say that everybody that is committed to ensuring that democracy is one in which we take pride in and we enjoy mm. should do their best to see that we contribute our quota to nation building and national development by participating in the process of governance. All right. And Very I think we should so. also remind people that the 17th of August is just around the corner. So if you haven't gotten your PVC, please spare one day, you know, leave work for one day and go and register for your PVCs. And employers of labor, please ensure that you cooperate with your employees to ensure that they are not deprived of their right to vote and be voted for. Absolutely. I couldn't have said it better. You have eight days left, so you do not want to miss this opportunity. By next Friday, you can no longer register to vote. And honestly, that's going to be the biggest shame. To enjoy more of these our Ogunga videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.